Hi, my name is Jeff Johnston. I've been asked to speak to you about the role and duties of a paddock judge. Paddock judge's primary job is to make sure horses running in races are carrying the equipment that they are approved Please with. Please get your horse back. Please bring and your horses up to the paddock for race What a paddock judge will do in the morning when he comes to the office, he will get a program or a proof, and he'll go through and he'll mark what equipment a horse carries. In the afternoon, he makes sure the horses are in paddock in a timely fashion. He's responsibility that all the horses are saddled correctly and safely, and he makes sure they are carrying the equipment they're assigned. The only equipment really tracked universally in North America right now are blinkers. Some track screens, some track goggles, some track shields, and some track bar shoes. But generally, the only thing you'll find universal is blinkers. Part of the paddock judge's job is to make sure that first the horses are in the paddock on time, giving the valets and the trainers ample time to saddle the horses correctly. He must make sure that they're wearing the equipment they're assigned and there's nothing unusual about the way the horse is saddled. Paddock judge's job is safety, first and foremost. Horse on the path. Safety of the animals, safety of the people running the animals, and safety of the public. If you look at paddocks like Oaklawn or Pimlico or this, you have people right out of on that rail. You have young children and families that are not horsey whatever. And if you get a young, fractious horse that is very nervous and he starts acting up, it is up to the paddocks to see that potential problem and bring that horse in, put him down in the corner, ask him to stand in the stall and maybe get these young children right off that fence so nothing bad happens. If horses are fractious, he must see that they get schooled by placing them on the paddock judge's list. You know, because a horse that is not behaving in the paddock can create an issue for everyone else. You know, if you have taken the time and properly schooled your horse and broke your horse, and your horse is standing there like a statue, and a horse next to you blows up and thrashes around and hurts your horse, and you've been penalized for something that was not your mistake. So that's part of the paddock job. Keep it fair, keep it safe. You've got to control traffic. Keep everybody moving in the same direction. You can't have one person stop and saddle in the walking ring because, you know, while he's paying attention to a girth and an overgirth, here comes four other horses on the walk behind him, and there's going to be an issue. So communication, you've got to yell. Four horse, either walk or put away. Keep moving. You've got horses behind you. The horse must be saddled by its trainer or his regular assistant trainer. Occasionally a trainer will be out of town and he'll, he'll have his buddy saddle the horse for him. That is, again, is dependent on the association. Here, I make a notation of it in the program that Bob Smith saddled John Jones' horse and they know it is. Uh, some jurisdictions like Texas, you must sign an affidavit that you are now responsible for this horse. But all this information is reported to the stewards and a record is made of it. I believe there should be no beverages in the paddock, whatever, no smoking in the paddock, whatever, and no cell phones in the paddock. We're gonna do it safer, we're not gonna do it. You go ahead and send them, please. Once the horses are all saddled, you have your riders in, you give them a minute or two to talk to the owners. You know, they, they politic with the owners and the trainers give them instruction and they talk business. As Soon as that's all settled, the paddock judge should take a quick survey of the racetrack, make sure it's clear. The tractors are off, the gate is out of the way. There's not something unusual going on. At that point, goes to the number one post horse. Are you ready? And if they say yeah, then very loudly I say, Riders up! The post parade starts with the paddock judge. Because if you get those gaps set as they're leaving the saddling stalls and the saddling enclosure, it looks so much better on the racetrack. The post parade begins with the paddock judge. Attention horsemen, please get your horses ready for race nine. Please get your horses ready for race nine.